Wow, a Roblox event stealing clothing. You know, as disappointing as this happening actually is, I, I, I do wish I could say that this is the first time we have seen this happen, but unfortunately, this is, I think, the second time that we have seen this happen, and both of these incidents took place this year, the most recent one happening just yesterday. So before I show you what's going on, which Roblox event stole which clothing, I would first like to say, please leave a like on this video and subscribe. Now, the first thing to come from this, like I said, was yesterday evening, and this comes from a clothing designer on Roblox known as C. Sapphire, and they said in their tweet, Forever 21 just released a collab on Roblox, and I was disappointed to see that the clothes used stolen shading from Google on multiple items, and they attached two screenshots to this tweet. One of the screenshots is of the item in question from the Forever 21 Roblox collab and clearly this jacket was supposed to be named something else but it ended up getting censored so right now all we have from this is it's called split something 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 jacket it's by the forever 21 shop city and at the time that this screenshot was taken it was on sale for five Robux. however after going to the group for myself and going into their own catalog I noticed that these items are no longer on sale and it specifically seems to be the items that got caught called out for copying or stealing the shading that are no longer on sale. So I don't know if they are going to go back on sale or if they are going to be remade and then re-uploaded or just completely scrapped. But the second image attached to this tweet was a screenshot of a Google search result of Roblox shading templates. And I mean, you have to look really closely when just looking at the screenshots yourself, but you can see that this is a direct copy, if not like literally stolen shading, taken from this Google Roblox shading templates and placed directly onto this Forever 21 split jacket. Like I said at the beginning of this video, this is absolutely not the first time that we have seen this happen, but around like 11 months ago, maybe 10 months ago, at the beginning of this year when Gucci did a collab with Roblox and Gucci ended up getting into the UGC program or something along those lines. The UGC items were not what people were upset by, but actually when they started uploading like 200 Robux shirts and pants to their own little catalog of their own little group, some people started to uncover that some of the shading on some of the clothing items were actually stolen and it was pretty much the same exact situation that we currently have going on right now with Forever 21, where they clearly just went to Google and typed in something like Roblox shading templates and took one of the first ones that they saw, downloaded that image, placed it onto their clothing, uploaded it to Roblox, which I, like I said, not only is it very disappointing that they stole from another artist because somebody clearly originally made this shading that they stole, but it's also very disappointing that this is the second time this has happened. Like the, the second collab that Roblox has had with a clothing brand that has stolen shading templates and it's just the lack of effort going into them is also a very big disappointing factor. So around three hours after the original tweet got put out, an account called Wonderworks Studio replied by saying, all Forever 21 apparel was originally designed and created by Wonderworks. So they basically just admitted to creating this item of clothing that has stolen the shading template in question. The apparel wasn't copied from any source. I, I beg to differ, many people beg to differ, the original tweeter of this tweet begs to differ, the 1000 people who liked this tweet and the 100 very disappointed replies probably also beg to differ. However, we do recognize these similarities, so out of respect for the original artist, all creators and players on the platform, we are updating the designs. Now, this was a terrible response. What I can take from this reply is that these are the people that did create these clothing for the Forever 21 collab on Roblox, and whilst it's very nice of them to be updating the designs and redesigning the designs without the stolen shading, they didn't admit to stealing the shading, but instead they straight up said they didn't copy anything from anyone. So to them, in their mind, their design looks a little bit similar to another design, so they're completely redesigning the whole thing. That does not add up. If you truly created your own design and didn't steal anything, didn't copy anything, it, the, the only thing wrong with it would be that it looked slightly similar to another design. You wouldn't take it down and redesign the whole thing. You would just explain 
that you didn't steal, you didn't copy, it just happens to look a little bit the same. If these people admitted to copying and stealing the shading, that would have been a little bit better because they went on to say that they are going to take it down and update the design, but they said they didn't steal anything, they didn't copy anything, they denied it. And I mean, just in case you are still a little bit unsure of what to believe right now, take a look at this reply because this person replied to Wonderworks Studio with a video and in this video they have both the shading template and the Forever 21 shirt template on top of each other. Slowly this person fades out the Forever 21 shirt and all that remains is the original stolen shading template. You can see that it's exactly the same. It is exactly the same. It's not even slightly copied. It's not just a little bit similar. They downloaded the shading template from Google and placed it on top of their own design. So yeah, that's currently what we have going on over here. I mean, I think it was already disappointing enough to see that an official Roblox collab had stolen clothing or stolen shading once again. But the response from the people that created the clothing was especially disappointing because they denied copying or stealing anything despite the proof of being right there in front of their eyes for thousands of people to see. I guess it's good that they took the designs down, but once again, the response wasn't the greatest. They could have gone about it a different way instead of straight up denying what's right there for everyone to see. I don't know, let me know what you think. There's nothing really to say, like I can't say, do you agree with this? Do you not agree with this? Because we just saw video evidence that this is stolen shading. So one more time, please make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe because I will always appreciate love and support that you guys give me. And you know what? It helps me out a lot. But I'm guessing of another Roblox event, stealing a shading template from Google. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.